All right, guys, after we did 45 days of struggle with my beginner account, it's time to go all the way, balls to the wall, pay to win, dirty pay to win tactic. Today, actually yesterday, I maxed two of the Shiro U towers, I bought two of the epic equipment, and I got the Edenian force rejection field maxed out together with the Edenian bracelets maxed out. It was absolutely busted. At this point, I just don't have the other two pieces epic maxed out, but I mean, if I get it from the tower on my last run, cool. Now, the thing is, this is probably the most busted setup for Lizard Barak. And by the way, I just forgot that there is one more thing that I have to do in order to make the, the whole thing a lot more busted. And this is to give Rocket Bowling Stones for Lizard Noob. Why is that? Because Baraka doesn't have any block breaker. With this setup, Baraka has 100% critical hit chance. He also gains 25% thanks to his passive, 50% critical hit chance boost, and another 17 from uh, the talent tree, so more or less close to 100. On top of everything, he can vampire the damage when he does special attack. On top of everything, whenever user resists or applies to the buff, gain 100% critical hit damage boost for 10 seconds. And guess what? He has 50% chance to reflect 80 debuff back to the opponent. That's absolutely busted. On top of everything, opponents affected by blind have a 70% chance to also miss during special attacks. And how can you apply blind with Baraka? You're going to say it's difficult. No, it's easy. This piece, 40% power generation boost. For each bar of power acquired by the user, there is a 50% chance to uh, blind is applied. And guess what? Lizard Baraka gains power like crazy, like this. So he can gain special one, then do special, uh, special one bar of power, then do immediately special one, and his power bars feel super fast. So he can gain another bar of power and apply blind in the process. And on top of that, there is a chance to do X-Ray instead of actually special one. 30% chance on max fusion. This is totally busted setup for Lizard Baraka. And we have Noob who is supporting him with a Varmin Slucky Hat, Director Chair and Rocking Bowling Stones. Varmin Slucky Hat makes sure that they cannot really get to X-Ray or any basically power bar very, very easy. We have the Director Chair that increases critical damage and we have the rocking bowling stones for additional unblockable chance and if you're asking why lizard jade is in the team it is simple lizard jade first applies team trill so that they get even lower power generation and on top of everything lizard teammates have a 30 percent chance to reflect any debuff so you have 50 percent chance from the um from the armor and 30 percent chance thanks to lizard jade passive i don't know whether they're additive I guess they are not, but still, this is more than 50% chance to reflect any debuff back to the enemy. So, without any further ado, let me quickly show you my uh, talents in my door. I didn't really do anything uh, incredibly specific with the towers. You can see I uh, even have a thunderous blow, which I don't really require in this particular setup, but it is what it is. Again, I am not really uh, a huge fan at this point. I didn't really check the talents, even though what I can do here is I don't want to have... Um, conditioning to be honest i don't want to have meditation because if the special one takes not one full bar of power i cannot take advantage of the director's chair so what i'm going to do is i will definitely would like to have the outward scorch so i'm going to uh, downgrade this and i will try my best to get to outward scorch if that's possible so i'm going to place one point here even though this doesn't work that's fine and i'm going to go here and i will take outward scorch and more or less that's it okay baraka is going to be my main uh, starter even though it makes sense for him to place him uh, to attack him immediately after the match so that you can take advantage of his passive by the way I want to showcase another thing before I go to the fight. And this is the fact that Lizard Team is probably one of the best teams to counter regeneration. Look at this. Uh, active opponent's healing is reduced by 25% for each Lizard character in the team. So currently I have three. So if they tag out, tag in actually, it doesn't matter whether they heal, their healing is going to be almost non-existent. So I'm perfectly fine with that. Now let's jump into the fight and assert dominance using Lizard Team. I hope I'm going to reflect his stun. That's the point why our little Baraka is starting. Of course, of course, beautiful. Now I'm going to get a special one, apply blind, of course, and now X-ray. Oh no. I wanted to do X-ray, but uh, it is what it is. I'm stacking the critical chance damage. Uh, sorry, critical chance damage, critical hit damage. That's good, uh, that's good. And uh, this guy is almost already dead, and uh, it's a little bit freezing from time to time, but so far, so good. <laughs> okay, this guy is dead. Give me somebody else, give me somebody else. Oh, he cheated that. That's even beautiful. I'm going to do this. Uh, this is Baraka already stuck 69 
It's crazy. 69 stacks, 74. I didn't crit? What the hell? Does it have something to reduce critical hit chance? Something crazy. Anyways, 84. I'm getting stronger and stronger, guys. I'm getting stronger and stronger. I want, I want her to bleed. Okay. I want X-ray. Yes, X-ray for free. Actually, it costs one bar of power, but uh, it's okay. And you can see how how easy this fight is. And I want to see uh, the observe the healing of Noob once he tags next time, because probably he didn't notice, but he didn't really heal much. This the Barak is getting absolutely busted. Look at this. Look at his healing. I'll try not to heal. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at his healing. It is not really incredible. He heals like... Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Anyways, I'm going to kill this guy. That's always a pleasure. <laughs> 164 stacks, guys. I'm getting even stronger. Okay. Okay. Bam. Oh, what an x-ray. Crazy. Okay, he's healing. Uh, but again, his healing is so slow. He has a million health and he doesn't heal like... Very impressive. Okay, another special one. I wonder... It seems to me that the passive... I never checked that, to be honest with you, but... Does the passive of Blizzard Baraka that gives 25% critical hit chance also boost his critical hit chance? Because if this is the case, I... They probably have something to reduce the critical hit damage. But I don't think they have such type of gear. Probably I missed something. The best way to check that is to literally uh, see how how he's going to crit without any equipment whatsoever. I'm not going to do it in this video, I'm just, I'm just curious whether this thing can happen. Uh, but anyways, let's test this bad boy in Faction Wars and see how great he's going to be. I'm going to do a quick play, why not? Why not? We're going to do uh, 5 battles and assert dominance to the highest degree. Of course, in this particular fight, I will have Lizard Baraka as my uh, secondary option, so that basically he will tag immediately in the beginning of the fight, which will give him the red thing, and he will be ignoring basic attacks, so he'll be completely unbeatable. I don't think that anybody can possibly defeat Baraka with this setup of, like, I don't think you can ever lose, like, crazy. You cannot lose like this. And look at the damage, this is... Wow. Okay, X-ray. Yes! <laughs> it's crazy. How can you possibly lose with that setup? I mean, there is one problem with that setup. Of course, that you can get one-shotted by an X-ray or something, even though they cannot really do X-ray on you, uh, thanks to the environments like a hat. But uh, I don't want to fight Sonya. But you can get one-shotted by uh, some crazy special too. All right, I'm not fighting these crappy teams. You know what I'm going to do? Uh, I will go to the Crypt, the Elder mode, and I will see how well I will perform. I even get a little bit good modifier, so I'm fine. All right, let's do one Elder. Not going to do everything, just going to do a couple of battles, and then I'm going to be closing the video. Uh, I'm having fun with that team. Like, Lizard Baraka is so freaking busted. It's, it's crazy. Okay, uh, we're fighting Fusion 7 uh, Diamonds, which is better than Fusion 2 Golds, right? It's getting, it's getting harder. I'm going to attack the Baraka right at the bat. Okay. I wonder whether he can reflect the Joker the boss. He cannot. Okay. And that's unfortunate because he destroyed our armor. That was reflecting the buffs. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. The Joker. The Joker is a counter. And this debuff lasts for so long. It's absolutely crazy. Alright. Okay, special 2. How they get the shield? Oh yeah, I got it. Uh, it's a noob. It's a noob. I got uh, the vermin. Vermin still had him. Okay. His turn. She actually. Sorry, she. It was she. Okay. Oh, I'm not even going to try hard in the mini game. Uh, I'll drink him. Okay. Ah. Wow. I don't even think that this pieces of equipment are very well designed on Jane because on Lizard Baraka they are totally busted in the Lizard King. I mean, nothing can do anything to this guy. It's like crazy. Alright. Uh, vampires. Whatever. Let's kill him. Going to attack the Baraka immediately and this is going to be probably the last fight of the video. I believe you got the point that this composition, this setup is crazy on Baraka. Team Shield. Okay. Oh, by the way, if I do X-Ray now, I'm in the trouble, so I'm going to do Special 2. This guy is going to come uh, in the endoskeleton form, and then I'm going to finish the job. 32 stacks already. 35 stacks already. Did you see me ever not critting in this particular fight? 
Probably before I wasn't critting because uh, they had something to reduce the critical hit chance. Yeah, I'm critting all the time. That's what I expected to happen. Okay, cripple resisted, cripple effect. Oh my god, 70 wild percent. Like, Wizard Baraka, guys, is absolutely insane character. Uh, the reason why he is not uh, diamond is because if he was diamond, he would be probably the best character in the game, like, by far. He's so freaking busted. Oh, X ray, X ray to finish the fight. Wow. Okay, guys, so I hope you found this video useful. I mean, or entertaining at least. I know that many of you are probably not going to get this um, this Gears Max style, but I just wanted to showcase this setup once again for you. We have the Matok and Bear Fang for uh, sustainability, for critical hit chance boost, and the critical hit damage boost. We have the Idanian Force Rejection Field, so that uh, we additionally increase our health, uh, we make sure that we have protection from special attacks, and we make sure that we have protection for the buffs, which also gets actually from um, um, Lizard Jade. Uh, and we have the Dylan bracelets for additional power generation boost to make sure that they're blind. And once they're blind, we can activate the X-ray part of here and apply team bleed in the process. And in the end, we have a 30% chance to um, actually we have here 30% chance to apply special attack three instead of X-ray instead of sorry, the special one. It's super busted. So they're blind; they cannot hit us. If they hit us, there's a huge chance that they're going to miss their special attack. Uh, Crazy. And if they do any debuffs on us, we can actually reflect it back to them, dealing huge damage in the process by virtue of being Baraka. Alright guys, have an amazing rest of your day. Take care.